hello, my husters. Oh, how are y'all today? Give me a minute. We're going we gonna, to uh, bless the food and then we're going to get ready to chit, to, to chit and chat. Oh, Father God, I just want to say thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Have your way in all of our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. Look, we have some fried um, chicken thighs, and I did it in the air fryer. Y'all, I guess because they were so big, it, it took like 35 minutes to, to get them done. You know, I'm not, I don't want to get sick. And we, of course, y'all already know what this is. <laughs> These are my spicy noodles that I love. Oh, y'all, and back here we have uh, some uh, peppers. And uh, I like these. I get it from our Kroger store, and it's called um, Hot and Sweet Jalapeno Peppers. Oh, they are so delicious. I eat these with everything. I always have a jar readily available in my pantry. So this is a new jar. And uh, my drink today... I'm not going to sip on my good stuff, alcohol, but, you know, I like Shasta soda, the strawberry and the grape y'all seen before. But uh, when you go to the uh, hood here, uh, especially in Houston, and you buy a, a meat package, they give you a bag of potatoes. Sometimes they give you five pounds of rice or beans, and then they give you a six pack of soda. So I'm trying something new, Shasta Tiki Punch. I've never had this one, so I'm excited to just try it. So who 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 had this soda before? Not me. But the but the guy who was serving me said it was really good. So um okay, let's do it. And this is very good. Tiki Punch. Okay. Mm, it, it smells delicious. Oh, oh my. Oh, that is good. So come on in, take a seat, bring your <laughs> soda, your, your, uh, your water, your Kool-Aid, or your cocktail. Come on in. Let's sit down. Let's chat. And let's eat. Yes. Oh. And salute, salute. Sip, sip, sip that good stuff. Y'all, that's good. I'm going to keep that. That's good. I want y'all to see it. <laughs> okay, so... Let's dig in. I think I'm going to talk about that. I think I left off a couple of few days with my husband before he was my husband. Yeah, that's hot. Y'all see that smoke? It's hot. I'm so happy that, that y'all keep coming back. My new subscribers, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right on the side, so every time I do a video, you will be notified. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up, and don't forget to comment, share, and like, and share me. Oh, I was so happy with uh, Tay and Lou. They got a beautiful gold plaque for 1 million subscribers. So congratulations to both of you. And I have to do the hot sauce challenge, y'all. I have to do that hot sauce challenge. I'm going to have to get my son. Mm. 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 My God. Who don't like noodles? Woo! Woo! That's good. Spicy. 
You know what? Here, take a bite. I'm going to give y'all both of them. Ooh, this is hot. Ooh, mm -mm. I want this chicken. Because y'all remember? I did uh, the chicken and potatoes. And I saved three of them. Three thighs. So they soak for more than 24 hours. So, you know, these are really good. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Y'all, y'all hear that crunch? My God, look at that. Mmm. That's in that air fryer, you all But it had to fry for a long time before it was done. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, my. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that's good. Some good color today, don't I? I got good color today. I like it. I'm getting better a little bit. Mmm. Those noodles are good and spicy. I don't know if I need these peppers. Y'all see them peppers back there? I don't know if I need them. Look at that. It's just hot. Whew. Goodness. Y'all know what I think I need to purchase as well? I see it, uh, I see it on a lot of people's page. The warmer. So you don't have to eat no cold food when you're eating. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Mm. You know what? Uh, chicken and peppers just taste so good. Oh, that's hot. And you know, the uh, the, pe the uh, peppers I showed y'all, the, the hot and sweet, you can taste the sweet as well as the hot. It's just so good. Like uh, my uh, hot wife Pepper, jelly and jam, the sweet and the hot. I think I'm going to get my package today, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. There's a lot of stuff going on in my mouth, y'all, and it tastes so good. Woo! My taste buds are loving it. <sighs> okay, let's go back. My life, my story. Life goes on. So, me and my boyfriend at that time before he became my husband you know we had that long weekend and it was so so good when sunday came um well, neither one of us wanted to say goodbye but we had to we just had that was the first weekend in like two months that we were dating that we shared mm, mm -mm. it was beautiful um he was also a um Oh, that's hot. A little league football coaches as as well. So, you know, we, we were always out there doing something. And it was so fun, y'all. It was so fun. And then I was the leader with the uh the Boy Scouts as well. So we had this big event at the uh, Georgia Brown Center. Man, I tell you, um, we built a huge... Uh, 
human life doghouse. We won number one. We had it all decked out. So it was so, you know, the, the, the life then was was so good We because we were so busy, not just, you know, hanging around each other. However, uh, we wanted to be together all the time. And people saw our love. You know, it was, that was the beautiful thing, too. Mm -hmm. mm. So, fast forward. I always drop something on. But you know, this YouTube eating channel is going to happen, people. All of us can't eat so pretty. That's probably good. Chicken good. So, fast forward once again. He proposed. You know, I was happy about it, but it was something eating at me. You know, sometimes you have to take a step back. So, I picked my girls. He picked his guys. We picked our colors. It was um, eggplant. Well, uh, it was lilac and, uh, and beige. Because at that time in my life, I already had three children. Huh? No, I wasn't a virgin. I couldn't wear white. <laughs> so, my, my uh, shade of, of beige was really pretty, though. So... I know y'all say beige is beige, but it was pretty. So, our wedding happened. But on the day of our wedding, we had a wedding at the Rose Garden, downtown Houston. Beautiful. The setup was gorgeous. Mm. And we had... And we had uh, rented a hotel ballroom uh, for drinks and all that other stuff before we left for our honeymoon. But on the day in the limousine, you know, as I was waiting, uh, the cameraman was taking pictures. Something came over me, y'all. <laughs> and kind of remind me of The Runaway Bride. Have y'all saw that movie? Because I believe it's right before they came to get me out of the limo. I got nervous or something. I asked my limo driver to drive around the corner. <laughs> Everybody was looking for me. <laughs> yeah, I was having second thoughts, y'all. On my wedding day. And not just second thoughts, but I knew something on that day told me, don't do it. But then when I went around that block, and my, all my pride came in, because we had spent so much money. Everybody was there. I was like, shoot, we, I got to do it. When I, when he, when we got, <laughs> when we pulled back up front, man, everybody was standing there like, where did you go? And first of all, I was so nervous, y'all. I had to pee too, so I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, I don't hear y'all. A while down, I had uh, my niece and my nephew at that time. Well, my niece went, but the flower uh, 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 children went, and then my niece had this bell. And so she went down the aisle ringing the bell saying, The bride is coming, the bride is coming. Beautiful, y'all, for real. And. I get up there and I meet my husband in front of the pastor. Time to say vows. And, and my wedding is being recorded as well as pictures taken. Um, back then, they were still saying, do you promise to love, honor, and obey? 
Even though we know that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, that's good. Um. It's my time to say vows, y'all. <laughs> and this is on video. When we watched it back, we just people were laughing already. I don't know, my ear didn't hear them really, but I heard something in the background. I think I was just so numb up there. Came time for me to say them vows. Came to the part of obey. Y'all literally, I couldn't say it. I stuttered and I stuttered. I could not say obey. And I think it's because he had done some things prior to the marriage. I could not say obey. So the pastor had to keep going. <laughs> so the marriage is over. We had a great time though. At the reception. Mm -hmm. mm. Now time to come back to reality. Now remember I told y'all. On several occasions. When the sex is good. You tend to overlook that stuff you should have saw. So, fast forward a couple of months in, he came up missing. Mm. Okay, I'll go to his mom and him. Mm -mm. I think I'm making a mess. I talked to them because he was missing in my car. Not his, mine. And mind you, you know, I told y'all, you know, his dad is a pastor. His mama was a very holy lady. And I went to go talk to them to, to see if they had any idea. Had they seen him? Had they talked? And they revealed to me a deep, dark secret. I think that's why on that day of my wedding, when the spirit told me, don't do it. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes when you hear that little voice in your head and you know it's the right thing to do and you ignore it, you get in trouble. I got in trouble because I found out that he was a recovering drug addict. Mm -hmm. But... They told me that he, every now and again, you know, he would fall off the wagon. Not every week, not every month, but, you know, he did. And I think, I guess that was his time to fall off. Oh, y'all, my heart was broken. That's how we ended out uh, up in the country, y'all, because I thought... It would be better for us to move out of the city, knowing that drugs is everywhere you go. I know that. But to get in the country, it would be less accessible. Hmm. That's how we got out there with them uh, them donkeys and them horses and them cattle right next to us and them cobra snakes or whatever you call them, old, big old snakes that just run through your yard. So... That was a road because I loved him. And as a wife, I wanted to believe every, you know, when he said, I'm not going to do it anymore. And you're going through sobriety, you want to believe your husband. I believe that them two months that we waited before we did have uh, sex, I think if I waited one more month, I would have found that part out. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That's why I don't wash no more. That's gristle. Mm. I don't eat gristle. Mm -hmm. I think if I'd have waited a little bit longer, I'd have found that out. Mm -hmm. One on one. How to eat chicken. <laughs> That's good. That's just good. Mm hmm. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. So, uh, lo and behold, it was a rough ride. And he didn't, he was, he was like, um, I don't know what they called it when we went to some of those meetings at the AA, the AA, AA meeting. Or he was functional. That's what they called it. But going to those meetings, I listened to a lot of hardship stories from men and women. Man, I'll tell you, drugs are awful. They will ruin you, kill you, and then they do so much damage to the people in your, your life. It's awful, y'all. As I was listening, as I was listening to um, the stories, I'm telling myself, I ain't staying that long. That's that skin, y'all. You know, I got to eat it. Ooh. Mm. Listen to the crunch. You know, I told myself I ain't stand, I ain't stand no damn twenty years and deal with this shit. I know it's wrong to say, but the pain, y'all, the disappointment, the the hurt that you feel when you're dealing with someone who's having a battle with that drug is it's a it's man you don't ever want to deal with that. It's hard. Very hard. So that's how I end up filing for divorce after six years. And um and then him dying in his sleep. That's what his daddy told me. So that's why I say today. Dating? Huh. Get to know your mate. Ask questions. Meet the cousins, second cousins, stepdaddies, stepmamas, or the real daddy, mommy, the Ronimo. Ask his friends. You got to know. Mm hmm. Y'all, these noodles are so good. I'm glad they cooled down too because I'm almost done. Oh, shoot. Every time, you know what? Can I program a time to be set that the video would, uh, I mean, that the camera will uh, uh, alarm me that it's coming up on time for me to say goodbye? Darn. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time, y'all, to say goodbye for to now. Thank you so much for those who came back. You're my veterans. Ah, oh, that hood veterans. All my new, <clears throat> new subscribers, uh, yeah, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Notification bell, thumbs it up, comment, share, and like.
With that said, have a fabulous evening. Whatever you do, do it good. And I love you all. And there is nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm.